All right, for the receiver, I recommend the FreeSky D4R2 CPPM. It's 22 bucks from Loft Hobbies. I actually had an X4R laying around that I wanted to use for this build, but that requires an SBUS to CPPM converter, which is an extra, extra $13. So if you have the D4R2, you can ignore the next steps, but if you have the X4R that you want to use, um, please follow these next steps for connecting the SBUS to CPPM, which is pretty easy. So. Here's the X4R. It's about the same price as the D4R2, but it runs the SBUS. And this is the SBUS to CPPM converter. All right, so let's start off by measuring the length of the wiring going from the X4R to the SBUS to CPPM converter. Uh, once you have that all measured out, uh, just go ahead and clip the wires and then strip off the end so we can pre-solder the tips. So just find um, three loose wires you have laying around, a positive, a ground, and a signal wire. Any wires will do. Um, for my build, I actually cut them to about an inch and a half to two inches. Then you're just going to solder these on to the CPPM converter. So this wire you see here is the ESC plug that I'm going to be using to connect to the X4R. I'm actually going to just solder the other end of the um, ESC pin header directly to the SBUS to CPPM converter. Again, just measure it out, snip off the ends, and then pre-solder the tips, and then you're going to just solder it directly to the converter. So signal's going to go on the top. Make sure you have a solder on the board as well. Signal on top, power in the middle, and then ground is going to go on the uh, bottommost pin, uh, pin header on the converter. So once you have the um, ESC plug soldered to the converter, you're going to want to solder the other end with the exposed wires directly to the flight controller board. Um, sorry my head kind of got in the way here. In the next uh, clip I'll show you exactly where you're going to solder these pins to. This is what it looks like when it's all connected. So I'd also recommend just throwing some liquid electrical tape onto the converter. Just uh, go ahead and cover it all up just to protect it from it touching any exposed metal on the, uh, on the quad. So here's what it looks like um, coming from the converter to the flight controller. You're going to have signal on the top, power in the middle, and ground on the bottom. Um, signal's going to go to pin 1, power's going to go to the circle uh, symbol, and then ground's going to go to the header that doesn't have any symbol or number on it. So to help you visualize what we just did here, we took the converter and the SBUS input connected to the receiver with the CPPM output connected to the flight controller. And here's what it looks like on my rig. I used some double-sided foam pads to mount the X4R on top of the flight controller in between the, front, the top plate and tucked the converter behind the FPV cam underneath the front plate. Alright, so now it's time to bind the uh, receiver to the radio. So go into your model setup, go all the way down to the bind section. Um, also note that you want to have your, your radio in D16 mode with a channel range of 1 to 8. Okay, so once you have that all ready to go, what you're going to need to do is hold down the bind button on the X4R you see here while you're powering the quad on. So you might need someone to help you. Um, I was able to do this myself, but it's a little tricky. Let's so go ahead and hold it, power it on, and then hit enter on your radio uh, while you're hovering over the bind button. Just hold it for a second and then go ahead and power down your quad. Hit enter on the bind button and then exit out to the main menu. 
Then what you want to do is power up your quad again. It might take a few seconds, but you should eventually see the flashing red light on the X4R turn green. Sometimes you have to move a little bit away from your quad for your radio to pick up the receiver. Alright, there we go. The quad has picked up the, uh, the radio. And you can see here that the light on the X4R is now uh, solid green. And that's about it for the binding process. Pretty easy.